you cool sh When I hit a ball 450, I feel like I'm the king. I don't really care. All the kids are doing this. We're trying to make baseball fun. I made homemade gym. And I started working out in my backyard. And that's when my social media started to grow because people were like, who the is this guy? You know, like. All right, guys, before the episode started, I want to take a quick minute to talk about the sponsor of today's episode, Pocket Radar. You, got, you, you guys know Pocket Radar. Obviously, you can use it to measure how hard you're throwing or exit velocity, all that kind of stuff. But also, did you know it's a good tool for mixing your pitch speed? Just ask guys like Max Scherzer. You use the radar gun as a tool. Velocity by itself doesn't create a swing and miss. It's how you mix and match everything. So velocity is just a part of my game. As we're right in the middle of the offseason, gearing up for the season, this is the best time to get a Pocket Radar. Use code DSOM for 15% off. Usually it's 10%, but Christmas and all that stuff, the holidays, 15% off. I asked bump a little bit because to get you guys a good little deal going so like i said use code dsarm for 15 percent off man i'd really appreciate it. it helps the podcast and it helps me make more content i don't know when the next time they're gonna have 15 percent off that's like 45 50 plus dollars off so that's a really good deal but man this is a great episode coming up with eric sim thank you guys for watching let's get right into the show Mr. Eric Sim, podcast 2.0. Hell yes. Uh, so, man, last time we were here was, or did a podcast was July, I think, 12th or 13th. Mm-hmm. Uh, and a lot of people like that one. That has like 30,000 views Let's on go. YouTube. And so many people messaged me like that fired you, them up because your story was so unique. Yeah. And so we talked a lot about your story last time, but I do kind of want to go, if, for people who didn't hear the last one, what's just like the basics of your story to where you are now? Yeah, again, uh, I'm glad you guys fucking liked the video last time. Um, I've been through a journey of, of my own, right? Everyone's got a journey, uh, but my has been a, a hectic one to be to be honest. Um, I was born in South Korea. I grew up there playing ball until I was 13, and playing ball over there is is crazy. You know, I was practicing 10 hours a day, like when I was fucking 10. You know, and just like baseball or die. That's what it was. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I moved to Canada when I was 13, and I went to um, like I played high school ball in Canada. I grew up there, and playing Canada was uh, was different, right? It's, it's like practicing like an hour. You know. Coaches give you high fives and stuff, which is cool. But also, like, when I more I grew up, like, when I was, like, 17, 18, I'm trying to go to college. I'm trying to make make something with baseball, you know? And I couldn't really get uh, recruited uh, because, again, back – I'm talking – we're talking, like, fucking 15 years ago. It's yeah. a long time ago, especially in Canada. Still, baseball still small over there uh, relative to, to here. And, and back in the days, even worse, you know? So um, it was really tough to get recruited. I was, I, was, I was lucky enough to get recruited to go to JUCO. Uh, my, my, so I signed my May of my senior year, so which is very late. Kids these days, they commit what? They're fucking sophomores that have committed to, <laughs> you know, like, it's crazy, you know? Like, so um, I signed a last minute. Uh, coach came out to see me. Uh, he drove 30 hours to see me because he heard Heard, um, he heard from his brother, who's Canadian, uh, that, I, that I was playing here as a good catcher or whatever. So he came up, saw me play one game, offered me right away uh, because uh, thankfully their catcher, like that was committed and signed, ready to go, like backed out last minute. Mm-hmm. So I was lucky enough to get that spot and I ended up uh, thriving in a JUCO. You know, I went to a JUCO for two years after that, uh, balled out, um, two of the best years of my life. Uh, not ju- not because it was like good, like JUCO's shitty. You know, the lifestyle sucks, mm-hmm. but because it was so shitty, it made me stronger and everything that I learned through it, it just, to this day, I carry to this day. You know what I'm saying? It's just incredible. And then after that, I went to the University of South Florida for a year, um, and I got drafted as a junior, and then uh, played six, six years of pro ball yeah. uh, with the Giants. And then uh, I was a catcher for five years and a year and a half as a pitcher. And then after that, I hung on my cleats, and then I started working right away because I was broke as fuck. Yeah, uh, yeah. When I got done playing pro ball at age 26, I had 500 bucks left in my bank account. Um, that's all I had. So I'm like, I got to make money. I can't go back to school. I had a year of school left. Um, Giants pay like 50 grand of it, but that just wasn't enough. I am broke, you know? So I started working right away as a bartender, became a bar manager, ran that for about four and a half years. And then I came down here and then I've uh, been, been a full-time content creator for last year and a half or so. Um, and it's been a pretty crazy journey. Uh, but at the same time, I think because it's been so crazy, that made me who I am to, to, to do what I do now. Yeah. So could you tell me how the grind of Juco and the grind of, of minor league baseball set you up for the, like your life after baseball? Cause I feel like that really put you on a good path. Absolutely. I mean, again, Juco shitty mm-hmm. and minor leagues just as shitty. Mm-hmm. Uh, because expe- if you got money in the minor league, if you're a first rounder, you got money, you're fine. Yeah. But if I was a 27th round pick, uh, I got my signing bonus, 15, K after taxes it became like 11 12 K and I ran through that in about two years because you got to pay living in the off season right food supplements I mean I remember paying uh, like about 200 bucks uh, for supplements a month because I had to get protein creatine right. whatever and just like pre-workout right and it, it all had to be NSF certified when you're playing pro ball and they're expensive they fucking charge a lot because it's NSF certified mm. so like 
I just had didn't I never had money, you know, and, and I was always broke in college as well. I don't come from a super wealthy family, very average to little below average family. So like I had to earn everything myself, mm-hmm. right? So even college, I wasn't gonna go to college if I wouldn't got full ride, because yep. full ride was the only way for me to go to college, yep. and I did that. And get, playing pro ball, I'm like, if I run through this money, like I'm done, you know, and that's what it was. Uh, but because I went through all the bullshit and being broke and just being hungry, um, that, that got me going. Like, I mean, what got me started this entire fucking journey is when basically COVID happened and all the gyms shut down. I made a fucking concrete fucking gym in the backyard, right? I don't know if you guys remember that video. I, the clip. Yeah, I remember yeah, that. Yeah, dude, I I, I'm talking like I yeah. went to Home Depot, sp- spent like 50 bucks, got all the concrete and shit. I made homemade gym and I started working out in my backyard and that's when my... Social media started to grow because people are like, "Who the fuck is this guy?" You know, like, yeah. and, and and if I wouldn't have went through the GCO or the minor league grind, I wouldn't have done that. I'm like, oh, you know, like I'm not gonna do that. I'm soft, I'm but, but I'm yeah, ju- yeah, I'm just yeah. not gonna do that yeah. because I don't take no for an answer. If the gym shut down, I'll make I'll make my own way, yeah. right? And there's no baseball facilities where I was at in uh, bar managing, and I went to a local fucking dog park. I went to a local <laughs> like a um, not even a high school field. Like I'm talking like a shitty, shitty field, yeah. and I was ripping smelling salts and throwing. I ended up throwing 95, and my mm-hmm. shit blew up kind of thing. So Yeah. You know, I've been listening to a lot of David Goggins. I'm sure you yep. know Goggins. And his story is kind of like his really rough upbringing led right. him to be how, like, mentally hard and how, how hard worker he is today. Right. Uh, so I think they, just to, to emphasize, like, a lot of people are going through some tough time, like COVID. A lot of times people, you know, we're going through hard times, but that can better serve you for the future if you change your perspective. So I think it's something we can take from your story. I think that's what a lot of people took from your story last time where it's like, you know, Juco grind, their baseball, you know, future is in question with COVID, but they just can grind through it. And I think that people can learn that from you. So that's really cool. Uh, now I kind of want to pivot to where we are right now mm-hmm. at Momentum. So kind of want to give the rundown to people who don't know what Momentum is. Right. Uh, so Momentum is basically a... Um, a content creating company. Uh, we focus uh, right now in baseball, and we have creators like Trevor and myself and Cole, uh, dudes a dude. Um, so, and we're trying to make the most banger baseball content as possible, and we have the facility to do that. And we have a lot of good people working here to be able to facilitate that. And it's just every, it just it is for me is a dream come true. Again, I went from making concrete weights at home sure. to like we have like. Uh, I don't even know how much that is. That's very expensive gym. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got pro guys training right now as we speak. Um, and and it, it's been a crazy ride, man. But like to sum up momentum, we're trying to make baseball fun, try to do cool shit. And that's what we want to do. We don't want to we don't wanna get stuck in the, the old baseball content of just like, oh, like, you know, those very usual videos, like here's three simple drills, you know, that kind of, we want to get away from that. Well, that's yeah. not what I, what I think it's fun. Like I, w- I don't watch those videos. I want to be able to make content that I would watch, you know, and I don't watch just average shit. I watch some crazy shit. Like I want to have fun. Let's, let's, let's go crazy. Fuck. If you want to, I don't know, if you want to catch some random shit, do it. Yeah. If you want to fucking throw like some random shit, I literally did a for Halloween pull down video. I literally pulled down like Skittles and like the pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. I threw a pumpkin. Like I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Right. And that kind of stuff, just being you, you know, like being authentic and just being creative enough and just just having fun with it. And that's basically what Momentum's about. And that's what people want to see. Like, that's what kids want to see. They want to see people having fun with baseball. Like, people get sometimes scared away from baseball because it's, like, slow or because it's, like, they, their coaches made it boring and they didn't make it fun. I say that to say a lot. Rob Manford gets a lot of blame for, like, mm-hmm. the state of the MLB and what's right. going on, whether, I don't know if that's, he deserves it or not, but, yeah. like, if you could talk to him and say, you know, a couple sentences on what he should do, what MLB should do to help put baseball back on that upswing what would you like what would you make say baseball me? fun man you know there's still fucking you know people arguing about oh pimping homers isn't cool and shit shut the fuck if you're shut the fuck up all right <laughs> yeah. shut the fuck up yeah. like kids these days they don't want to hear your bullshit when they're watching baseball yeah. and they have a, they, there's a baseball broadcaster that's bitching about how the world the game's at now why would they fucking watch that, you know? know? Get fucking content creators up there that, that, that people, the kids watch. Like, because MLB is always, what, preaching for the youth, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, is, that should be it. I do, like, I have a lot of youth following. Uh, it's really cool. And that's what the baseball is all about for the youth, for the younger generation. And why do you think they watch me even though I'm vulgar and stuff? Because I'm fucking real, real. and I have fun. Yeah. I have a whole lot of fun. 
you know, and, and they don't watch a lot of baseball because it's not fun. It's boring, man. You don't want to watch something boring, especially kids these days. They don't have the, the retention to be able to watch a three-hour ball game when the announcer's bitching about the state of the game or pimping homers back in my day, and then fucking Manfred doesn't really do a good job of marketing their players or whatever. Baseball just simply isn't fun, which is why our whole mission of Momentum is make baseball fun. Yes. Do cool shit that kids and everyone's going to want to watch. You know, it's funny. I made a video literally the other day on, like, uh, bat flipping. I was talking about bat flipping and why bat flipping is so sick. And in, like, South Korea, that's, like, part of the culture is to bat flip because people are having so much fun at games. I grew up in South Korea, (laughs) right? Literally everyone, including when they're three years old to when they're 40 until they fucking retire, they pimp homers. Now, to them, they don't have a word that has a – it's pimping. There's no such thing. Mm Mm-hmm. You just, that's what you do. It's literally a part of the swing. I grew up there. I played ball there for 13 years. You literally swing and flip. Yeah. And that's just what you do. Mm-hmm. And it's just, I just don't understand why that's a big deal for no fucking reason. When Acuna hits a fucking 450 dead center, he pimps it. Fuck yes, man. Do you think yeah. when kids are watching that, do you think like, oh, that's too much? Yeah. No, kids are like, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. going to do that tomorrow yeah. when I get to fucking practice. You know what I'm saying? Like, It's crazy to me because like, in, in the NFL, when you score a touchdown, they have, like, choreographed dance routines. Yeah. Imagine if Acuna hit a home run and then three other Braves come out and just... You guys remember, like, Prince Fielder, when mm. I when he hit a tank, came back to the plate and, and like, everyone, fell. everyone yeah, like, yeah. fell? Like, that's awesome, man. Mm. That is fun. Like, mm. kids are going to watch that. I'm like, that is sick. Yeah. Instead of watching a bunch of fucking dudes with, like, no f- emotions, hitting a homer, dropping the bat, just, like, trotting, like, nothing happened. Like, yeah. that's not fun. Like, yeah. we don't it, it bring excitement to the game. Now, baseball itself, there's a lot of downtime, mm-hmm. right? There's a lot of pitch. Like, there's, like, football, too, same thing. But football does a good job of, like, embracing that. You know, it's once a week. It's a fucking party. Everyone's going to tailgate and have fun, build this shit up. And when it's game time, for four quarters, we're going to go at it. Yeah. You know, and there's action. But football, like, there's action going on. There's not an action going on. There's no, you know, people tackling each other and shit in baseball. It's hitting a ball. Yeah. Right? Now hitting a ball, throwing gas, let's make that fun. Yeah. Because it is fun. Mm-hmm. I fucking I've thrown gas and I've thrown I've hit tanks before. That's just fun, man. When yeah. I hit a ball 450, I, I feel like I'm the king. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like and I feel like we should more embrace that instead of like hating on it for no reason. Just because it wasn't game wasn't played that way before. It's changed, man. Game's always gonna evolve. You know, like in, in every aspect, not just the game itself, everything around it, right? So mm-hmm. just fucking adapt to where it is now. Let's make it better continuously. You know what it made me think of? Like, I, I'm getting excited to watch the World Cup, and I've never yep. watched soccer, but it's mm-hmm. because it, it became such an event. And like, yeah. soccer's slow. Like, it's boring. It's it boring is. and it's slow, just like baseball. Yep. But when they do score, and when like, what they, do they do? They literally <laughs> fucking get naked, yeah, I know. slide through the half the fucking field. I know. Right? And like, there's like. Two to three goals a game, maybe. Same with like baseball. Like, there's more runs in baseball than there are goals in soccer. Yet we could make those runs so much more Absolutely. exciting if people are allowed to celebrate. Because right. like the world, soccer is the biggest sport in the world right. for a reason. Because the culture behind it is so good, and like players are allowed to like show emotion. And, and again, like people rewarded. watch sports to get excited, mm-hmm. to to root their teams, and and that's their thing they follow. Yeah. Right? If all of them are like fucking robots and they don't fucking show any emotion, why the fuck would they watch that? Yep. Right? I mean, do you watch football because, like, they're, like, really quiet? They just, like, get the ball, run, stop, and that's it? No. They yeah. fucking – there's shit talking. Yeah. You know, they run each other over. They tackle like a fucking cra- – like, and then when they score a touchdown, they go – you know, yeah. like they go fucking like this. They do, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. They literally. Yeah. And those people. highlights go viral. Yes. And spread football. And yeah. what do you think happens the day after that? Every fucking football practice across the country, the all the kids are doing this. Marshawn Lynch. Going. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that's what makes sports fun. Yeah. And let's not go away from having fun because at the end of the day, if you don't have fun, you're not going to get the kids to play. Like, yeah. if they don't, that's why I'm trying to have fun. For me, my view of the content is if I'm having fun, most likely, people are going to have fun with me mm-hmm. because I'm having so much fucking fun making this content. Yeah. No, that's what's so cool about what you're doing. And, like, with social media and content creation, it's, like, so easy to reach a large amount of people. Because it used to be just, like, if, if you want to – if a bunch of people are going to see something, it's on TV, right? right. Like, t- now there's no middleman, no gatekeeper. Like, right. you create your own content, which is so cool. Um, so just more about momentum. What is – I mean, I guess I was going to ask this to Tosh so we can kind of like segue yeah, to that. We'll, but, like, we'll what's s- the future plans of right. momentum? So let's save those for Tosh yeah, for, yeah, like, yeah. future plans and yeah, all yeah, this yeah. stuff. But, yeah, that. what's your kind of uh, long-term – like, two-, three-year plan just personally with your – not even just content, just in general, like, with your life? Um, honestly, I've achieved 
more than I expected. Um, I mean, shit, I got a, I bought a, I was able to buy a car, house. I'm having, a, I have a beautiful family. I have a beautiful daughter at home. Like, honestly, I don't really need much more, you know? And right now, what keeps me going is just trying to make the best shit possible, right? So for me, it doesn't matter what I have, like money-wise or fame-wise or whatever, if you can call it fame, whatever. Mm -hmm. I'm considered one of the influencers now in baseball or whatever, right? But like, I don't, I don't really care too much about that. Like, even when I have 500 followers to where I'm at, like even IG, I think I have 180 something thousand followers. Like, it doesn't fucking matter. I'm gonna do the same shit, which is why like, I, will, I will never change who I am for anything. So yeah. a lot of people have asked, oh, you know, if you cuss less or if you be less of you, you'll get more people to watch. And I don't care. I, I just simply don't care because that's not the reason I started it. Mm -hmm. For me, of course, reaching the wide um, audience and getting bigger, getting more followers, getting more sponsorships, getting more, making more money, all that stuff is really cool. Like I embrace that and I'm thankful for that. But I'm not gonna change who I am. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, the yeah. reason I started this is to be who the fuck I am. The reason I started posting videos on IG, I remember my first fucking video on IG, fucking throwing some random park, just, I, ne I never expected any of this to happen. I just did it simply because I was sick of just watching shit videos online that's like the same shit. Everyone's doing the same shit. You know, do, three, do these three simple steps to throw harder, do this to hit farther. Shut the fuck up. Let me show you the real shit. Yeah. That's when I did the 95-hour diet journey because this is how you train. There's no fucking simple answers. There's no one fucking simple thing you can fix. You're going to throw five on our harder. There's no such thing. That's not what baseball is about. I played at a high level because I understand that. Yeah. Let's all understand that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there, and there wasn't many people at the time. There weren't too many pros talking about baseball or anything like that, right? So I'm like, I'm going to be real. I'm going to show you everything fucking I do. And I'm not, right now I throw like, I think I th at the time I threw like 87 or something, 95. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna literally throw 95, or, I literally just called it 95 or that. A lot of people like abuse that now, which is fine, whatever, that's mm -hmm. cool. But like, to me, what I mean by or die, like 95 or die, like that was it. Like literally I went to work, bartending, right? Came home. From then on, dude, until I went to sleep, it was training to throw 95. I was lifting in the fucking concrete gym and for whatever I made at home, but I don't even know if you call it a gym, yeah, but yeah, concrete yeah. weights or whatever. Yeah. And, or, and I went to like literally a shitty field and I fucking got this key to this shitty facility with no like carpet, it was concrete. Mm -hmm. And I was literally threw gas in there because my will to do it was so fucking strong. You know, it's just yeah. like, I'm gonna do it. And for me, when I get to that level, and if I'm gonna do it, I fucking go full sin. Yeah. And I just want to be real with the with my uh, with my people and be who I am. Not fucking change to be. I can fake it. I can fake it. I, I don't have to cuss if I don't have to. I, I can talk. I can talk like this if I wanted to. I'm not fucking gonna. <laughs> that's because not you. Yeah, that's not you. Yeah. That's not me. You yeah. know. And and I don't have anything against people faking it to make it. They have this uh, persona they throw on or whatever. That's fine. Sure. That's fine, but I think it'll only get you somewhere. Like, it doesn't get you past that level. Mm -hmm. And for me, I'm able to go past that level because I am real. And even though I, I'm vulgar or whatever you want to call it, DGAF, um, kids like me for a reason, I mm -hmm. think. I have a shit ton of followers. Most of my following on, on YouTube everywhere is 13 to 17-year-old kids, right? Because they see the real side of me underneath the language I speak, yeah. I feel like, so... So the year's about to wrap up. It's crazy. It's already December. You, what was your best moment of 2022, at least so far? Fuck, dude. I've had some crazy You've, had some, you've done some amazing I've done, things this I mean, year. Yeah, I mean, it's been a crazy year anywhere yeah. from, I mean, I got to throw a ceremonial first pitch, right? And that I mean, crazy. that was amazing, even though I threw 80 poo, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, big news coming about that next year. I can't really uh, oh. say that yet, but um, anyways. Mm -hmm. um, that fucking uh, just... Making banger content. We, we, I think we had our first million view video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I think what last month or something like that. Is that with Noble Meyer? Or yes, was, yeah, Noble yeah, Meyer. Yeah. With yeah, uh, shout out to Noble Meyer. Shout I love Noble. you. You fucking content machine. He's and also a beast. the softball girl. Yeah, right, yeah. Alexis. Shout mm -hmm. out to Alexis as well. And um, that was our first million view yeah. video. And then since then we've had three more. You know, so it's been a crazy. That video is actually Noble Meyer video is about at two million right That's now. Amazing. So it's really cool. Again, numbers are only just numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay, but. To, for, for me, again, I already have achieved like quite a bit. Like for me, what I look at is like, let's be, let's do more. Let's do more crazy shit. Let's, let's get more views. It's just fun for me. Not necessarily because what comes with it. It's just like that process of making a banger video is really fun. It's hard. It's fucking hard. A lot of people don't know. I think when we're going to do a day in the life, you guys will see it takes just a little more than me just doing it. You know, yeah. there's a whole team of people 
with a whole lot of effort that's making all this happen. Yeah. But it's really cool when we finally get it and we've been like pushing hard last couple months, three months or whatever. It's it's been a pretty cool ride to to see where it's going. And honestly, we're just getting started, baby. Yeah. Let's oh, go. 100%. Yeah. What are you most looking forward to for 2023? Uh, fuck. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I, that's a thing, though. Like, I don't really have, like, a big thing I'm, yeah. like, looking forward to. Like, yeah. I set small goals, mm. like, every two weeks, month, or whatever. Whether it's training for myself or content or whatever. Of course, I want to keep growing my channel, Momentum's channel. I want even Trevor's channel to grow, like even though I hate him sometimes, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. That's, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. a team of people is, right? So, um, but yeah, basically, like, I just want to do banger shit next year, continuously doing what I'm doing this year, and I just want to be, I just want to make more banger videos and have the reach, use the reach to make baseball fun for everybody, not necessarily just for, like, my fame. I don't care. Like, I don't care about fame, money, whatever. I, I got enough. I just, I just want to be able to reach enough people, more people, to be like, hey, this is baseball. This is also baseball. And this baseball is cool. Mm-hmm. And baseball can be fun. We're doing, instead of playing a, th- a nine-inning ball game for three hours, here's me hitting, a, you know, like a sledgehammer. You know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. let's find out what happens. Yeah, that yeah, kind of yeah. stuff, you know, so. Um, you know, I feel like a lot of people, like, when I, if I mention your name, they're just like, oh, I love Sim. Like, they yeah, just know, or I love King of Juco. Like, right. they know what they see from the videos, but, like, that's only a fraction of, like, who you are as a person. There's so much of your, like, story and stuff. Is there anything uh, about, like, Eric Sim that people don't know or, like, is kind of uncommon that you think you wanted to share to people? Or I you- think, um, honestly, like, in front of a camera, off the camera, I think I'm the exact same. It, um, no, you so, are. Like, like I'm yeah, literally, yeah. like, who I am you see in front of a camera is what you're going to get. Like, if off the camera, whatever, I don't give a fuck, mm-hmm. you know, but, um, but I just want, yeah, I just want everyone to know that I, tr- I'm, I'm truly grateful because I, like, literally two years ago, I did not see this as a, as a, as an opportunity, like, as, as a, as a career, it's a, it's a literally a career, it's a, it's a full-time job that I, I wake up and look forward to fucking going, instead of, uh, when I was running a bar, I made money, like, bartending was good money, but I wasn't happy, I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do, which, for me, like, I truly enjoy training, doing fun shit, doing crazy shit, and, and, you know, and, and talking to the kids, like, when I go to the fields, man, and I guess, sw- I literally got swarmed last time I went to a perfect game showcase or whatever, like, they had to stop, because, like, I literally got swarmed yeah. by, like, 60 kids, yeah, I'm like, man. what the fuck? They well, love like, you, man. Yeah. yeah. I was like, who's that? You know, like everyone around, all the parents are like, who's that? You know? Yeah. But the kids get it. Yeah. And to me, that's all that matters because if the kids like me, I'm doing something right. Yeah. You know, and I'm going to continue being me. I'm not going to change who I am. I want to continue doing fun shit. I want to make baseball fun for people. One of my best DMs that I get is from a, a person that's never really had any baseball experience. Because mm-hmm. I get a DM all the time like this. Never played baseball. Never got into it. I never watched baseball. It's boring to me. But I watch your shit because you are funny. I watch your shit because, you, like, I like what you're doing. Yeah. That kind of stuff fires me up because yeah. I got more people to watch baseball because of my content, you know? And I take pride in that, right? So, yeah, man, honestly, again, I'm very, very grateful for all the opportunities. Uh, but I got bigger things coming. I just want to continue having fun. And we got a full-on squad here with a beautiful facility. What more do you want? As a content creator, you come in here, you're like, I'm not going nowhere. A lot of people are like, I'm, I'm not traveling that much, of course, with a kid and stuff too, but I don't need to go anywhere. Literally, I can do everything I fucking want to do here. And I can do crazy shit here with a great team. Like, that, that's it, you know? So, um, but yeah, man, uh, seriously, thank you guys for listening, obviously. And then uh, we've got some bigger things coming. Yeah. So stay fucking tuned. Yeah. Who are you most, ex- who, who do you like, like in the baseball world right now, aside mm-hmm. from all the guys' momentum and you obviously, who is the, the upcoming? Like, even it could be a player, could be in content, could be anything. Who are you, you have your eye on as someone who's like gonna help push baseball forward? Uh, to be honest, it's you. Like, I, and then, like, I, don't get flattered, motherfucker. I don't give a fuck about you know. I don't give a fuck. Like, I just don't care. Like, but I think because you are young and you get the youth because you are so young. Like, I'm 33. Like, okay, again, I love a lot of youth audience and they like me, but I can't relate as much as you do because you're literally a kid still. You're 20 years old, mm-hmm. right? You're just starting your real life now, and you got this good thing going that you built up somehow, which is tight. You know, and but you just gotta keep going. You just gotta keep going. No matter, there's gonna be adversity. Like, even me, it's not like everything was fucking handed to me. Yeah. I literally started from fucking nothing, building my home fucking gym or whatever, to now working out at a facility that's beautiful. Yeah. You know, like, and it's gonna that journey to get there was long and 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 it was hard, right? I mean, I 
some days I just didn't want, but I had kept on doing it. I was consistent. But the biggest thing I admire you of what you're doing is you're consistent. I've met a lot of creators. I mean, I've linked up with a million creators, right? Um, a lot of them don't really get it, to be frank. Like, they're, they, they're like, oh, I'm, I'm all about content. I'm like, okay. And then they'll post, 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 and like, nothing. I'm like, you don't want it. Yeah. You don't fucking want it. If yeah. you want, I put up a video, at least one or two videos every fucking day for a lot, I, I think about two years, a year and a half or two years. I mean, every fucking day. Christmas, Thanksgiving, I don't give a fuck every fucking day because number one, I enjoy doing it. Number two, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to do that. When you don't post, when you post content, like you're not doing your job as a content creator, right? So being consistently posting good content that, that in your eyes, I'm like, this is good. Let's post it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm at the level now, like I'm posting like two, three times a day sometimes, right? Yeah. But I just want to make sure everything is good. But again, I admire what you're doing because of that. You are willing to do it. You literally like are not playing baseball right now because you want to focus on you. This is like, you're like, hey, this is it. Mm -hmm. I want to do this. This is my yeah. love, right? And, and I respect that because I'm in the game right now and, and, and peop, not a lot of people don't really take it serious because being a YouTuber or content creator isn't really uh, still a, a, a full-time job. Yeah. People like YouTuber are like, what? That's cool or whatever, but like, right. they don't really know. You know because you're going through it right now. Mm -hmm. I know because I've been through it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, honestly, um, no bullshit. I don't care like whether you. If it was someone else, I would have said it. But yeah. it is you. I appreciate uh, that, which a lot. is really yeah. cool. Um, I, I think you got a lot of good things going for you. You got a lot of good team here. I mean, you got a small team, yeah. but that's all. That's all you build up with, man. It's not like I started with a full team of momentum right away. Yeah. We had like what 15, 10 people working here or whatever. We didn't start that. I started myself too, yeah. right? But slowly building your team and like being around the people that have the same goal as you. That's only gonna take you farther. So. Yeah, I mean, that's the best comment we can get. Like, Leo and I, I mean, dude, we live and breathe content. Like, yep. we just, like, we are so invested in this and we right. just want to make it work just because it's, like, just straight passion. Do you want to, do you want to hop in real quick? Sure. <laughs> yeah, but even you guys, like, you literally drove here. Yeah. From Cali. Yeah. yeah. Five fucking hours yeah. just to do this fucking pod with me going to down the end of life or whatever. Yeah. Like, that is doing whatever it takes. And yeah. again, not many people really understand what it takes. Oh, five hours is too long or I can't do it. I don't have time. I got to do my other shit. That's fine. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. If no one came see me, that's fine too because I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. Yeah. But exactly. the fact that you guys actually put in the effort to come out here, do this shit, you know, like, like it, it just means a lot, yeah. you know, so... And, and it means a lot that. that you have us here because, you know, when we got that first text being like, okay, uh, like, you guys want to come through, we're like, okay, it's a no-brainer. Let's either get a flight or drive down here. <laughs> right. Like, right. No, but it's like any means, like, you know, like you say, 95 or die, like, by any means necessary. That's how we feel about, like, getting shit done in the yep, content percent. world. Like, it's, any means, man. Like, what you said about Dan, I totally agree with you because I've never met somebody... Like, honestly, on some deep stuff, like, that has matched my, like, same energy where it's, like, I'm almost obsessive about this thing. Yep. And people look at obsessive, like, traits in a bad way. It's but I great. look at it, it's, like, I'm doing if this. If you use it to a right thing, it's, the, it's, it's a gift. 100%. Like, I'm obsessed of, like, doing content. Yeah. Like, I love that. And exactly. I'm making a fucking good living doing it. Exactly. And that's not even the reason I'm doing it because I truly have fun every day. 100%. And like what I wanted to highlight here was I was talking with Dan about talking to you about how, you know, people see Sim or King of Juco and they're like, okay, this dude is making incredible content. He's got his team here and they're probably doing all this stuff for him. And Sim's just this like role. But what I wanted to highlight is how, you know, you really have this content mind and the social media mindset that you're doing a lot of this stuff yourself. Yes, you have this team to help you, but you're really the brains of a lot of this content that you're making. And I think that's really important to, you know, showcase. Yeah. Again, j just because I'm getting bigger, that doesn't mean I'm doing less work. Yeah. I'm doing just my, all the videos I post up on IG, TikTok and stuff. I'm editing those myself. Editing is not my good. I mean, Kevin, for example, he can, he's great at it. Yeah. But I'm not that good. But I don't give a fuck whether I'm good or not because I'm still going to learn how to do it. And, I, and Kevin was nice enough to teach me. And, and now I'm doing all the videos of myself. Yeah. And uh, other than YouTube, everything's basically on my own uh, because that's also my job to be able to be me. I'm not just uh, in front of a camera. You, oh, you guys know. There's yeah. a lot more that goes on 
behind the camera in terms of editing, you know, getting everything right, you know, telling a story, whatever the fuck it is, and then just being in front of camera. I can just be in front of camera for a couple hours a day and it's super easy, yeah. but I'm spending the next eight, ten hours trying to make that into something, yeah. into a content, because not everything is good content. So yep. whatever footage you get, you got to make that a good fucking video. How are you going to get there? You're going to try all this different shit. There's a million ways to do that. You guys go through the same shit. Right? And we can talk for like hours just like we just did, you right. know, up there. We're breaking down what you guys have done right. differently with thumbnails. We're talking. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching the episode. There's actually a bonus 30 minutes with Cole, who, uh, who's a creator at Momentum, and Tosh, who's the president of Momentum, on Spotify and Apple Music. So I put that one on just audio only. I wanted to keep this one around 30 minutes just with Eric Sim. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. I thought it was like a, just a banger. I thought it was awesome. You guys have been asking for this episode. So I got you guys Eric Sim 2.0. We also did a day in the life with him. So that's going to be coming out next Sunday, I believe. So a week from today. So that should be what? December 11th. So check that out. Day in the life. It'll be a week from today, so be on the lookout for that. So that's going to do it. Go check out enjoy the show on all streaming platforms for the bonus 30 minutes of content. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. All that stuff. Thank you guys once again so much for all the support. Really just trying to grow the game of baseball. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, Sunday, a week from today. Peace.